Last night I made a video on the energies from the 5th to the 11th of May 2014 and today I had some more thoughts on this with regards to the two cards that came up and um, they were both the same but from two different decks. They also related really well if you have watched this video already I'll post a link to it down below. It's quite a long one so you really need to take time for yourself to watch it. Anyway, if you have watched it already you'll understand that the balance between the intuition and the kind of playfulness with the cards was really um, established and confirmed by the scientific sort of side of things and um, all the kind of planetary alignments and they really really did merge to create a bigger picture of what's really going on with the energies that we're feeling within ourselves and that we're also feeling with in the collective consciousness. So depending how tapped in you are to yourself you're going to be able to be aware and see this happening and, and feel the energies round about within your wider circles too. So um, what's happening really is we had two cards that come up that were very much the same in fact they were the same card just in two different decks <clears throat> and it was all about the shadow self. So that really speaks to the, the fact that we have to look at all aspects of ourselves and um, that's really important because we have um, the Sun in Taurus which is all about self-love, self-value, self-empowerment, what we treasure and hold dear to ourselves, what we treasure within the gem um, of our spiritual awareness and alignment within and of course the um, the planet of Venus in Aries as well so it's all about and um, self-love and the identification of self and so, so some really nice energies um, coming together between the Aries and the Venus energies really are all about us going within ourselves and um, having Chiron in Pisces, Chiron being all about healing and of course Pisces being the collective consciousness and spirituality so it's everybody um, all linked together, all grouped together, the wider world and of course um, Chiron in an area of Pisces I noticed the, um, okay so I can um, inform you a little bit more about this, it, obviously it is really important this week but it's going to be continuously important all the way along till 2019. Okay, 2019. And this is particularly good because, um, and really quite powerful and important, because I had actually predicted intuitively that there was going to be a marked change of some sort of um, sorts, some sort of major shift would happen in a car. Um, in the year of 2020. So it was really nice for me to see that today and to really kind of have that established, give me more confidence. And that was me really kind of looking at the two aspects to be able to have this confidence in my own um, self, um, my place, my purpose, my divine calling, which is all about my sun sign and my passions and how that um, is going to take fruition through my North Node, which are all the strengths of my North Node, which are Leo, and um, my Sun sign is Pisces, so it's very creative, spiritual, and all-encompassing the unity within and um, out with, so, and the wider connection, the wider um, consciousness. So, um, that was really good to have that, and that really took for me to kind of focus on my opposite um, sign as well which is very kind of analytical the kind of masculine aspects and that's um, my opposite sign of Virgo. So just um, talking about that and highlighting what I've done there and how I what kind of different strengths and what kind of different areas I've been drawing on really um, these are the areas that you can look at and that's what I had to express today that it's important for us at this point in time in particular during me but it will really kind of like see us way through for years to come doing this inner work so it really is time for the collective consciousness for every single one of us no matter what star sign you are you will have to um, embrace the the spiritual side the Piscean energy to make sure that you're heart centered if you want to be standing in your truth your alignment and um, really with your divine purpose and see that through to fruition in your lifetime. 
And so the ways that you can do that are taking that again, first and foremost, that kind of Piscean energy and um, going inwards, connecting with your spirituality, your divine purpose will flow through and um, more easily when you can do that. And finding out what your north node is and that will um, give you the different kind of characteristics that are maybe appearing, that are coming through and just kind of um, be established that these are coming through for the right reasons and that you, yes, you should be embracing these and they will help you to see your divine purpose, your sun sign alignment through to a really powerful fruition. And of course, you're looking at your opposite sign and acknowledging the strengths of the opposite sign that you have and using those, utilize those can um, help to establish and give confidence and give boost to your sun sign. Okay, so it's mainly making sure that you're staying in your heart center and that's going to be coming through from that Piscean spiritual awareness and going within. That's first and foremost what's most important. What are you passionate about? What makes you happy? And that um, will help to ensure that you're in alignment with your divine purpose. Thanks for watching. What's more, I was really pleased to find and to know um, that my intuitive calling to bring forward the Love Empowerment, Be Love Empowered course coming up this May was right on time and spot on with the planetary alignment. And it's so nice to see that, although I have an intuitive strength in knowing what's called for and what's required, it is really good to see that the planetary alignments also assist in highlighting just how essential this is for this month in particular. It's going to be a big summer, and what we do now is really going to be integral to the rest of our lives. If you would like to be in and around a supportive group that's going to be working on all these areas that we have touched on quite lightly um, over the last few videos, then you can register for our Be Love Empowered course that's coming up this month, along with myself, um, Vicky Semple, and um, Revital HN and of course Linda Gulat Chassin. So I'm going to leave those um, registration details down below this video very shortly and um, keep checking back here and you can see how to get on board with that. It's going to be a very, very important year and a very important month for all of us. So I look forward to sharing that space with you there.